Hello and welcome. My name is John Strand. First off, I want to say thank you so much for signing up for our MSP security class. I greatly appreciate it. Wanted to throw together a quick video to explain what it is you just got access to. So first and foremost, if you have any troubles, please contact the tech support uh, email address that set up your account. If you have any issues at all, contact us. We are going to get right on it. We want to make sure the, uh, the experience is as pleasant as it possibly can be for you and your team to get stuff set up correctly. Now, whenever your team gets access, they're going to get an email inviting them to come into the portal, set up a password and do all of that. They should do all of that right away. Same thing with Discord. Uh, we use Discord quite heavily so the students can communicate and they can share things with each other. So please take advantage of that. And whenever you get those codes, you want to make sure you get right on those codes um, so they don't expire uh, very quickly because Discord has this thing when you create an account, it expires after a certain period of time. If that happens, not a problem. Just let us know and we can reset that up as well. Also, once you get in to the, um, uh, once you get into anti-siphon and you log in, you're going to be able to see your classes. If you don't see your classes, you can also hit this little thing right here and you can see that it shows up up above as well. Um, sometimes whenever people log in, it may not display all their courses right away. It may take them someplace else, depending on where they were before. But if you have trouble, if you don't see security for MSPs, I have a lot of classes because I have like all of the classes for anti-siphon because I'm special that way. Um, but you can also hit the little three by three grid up here. Now, whenever you get in, you're gonna select security for MSPs. And I wanna describe how this class is actually laid out. So if you look at how this course is actually broken down, you're gonna notice that we, we really want it to be done linearly. And then we also want it to be accessed for reference. <clears throat> Let me explain what I mean by that. The way that this class is set up is we start basically with the intro to SOC class, the intro to SOC core skills class. We go through networking basics, Windows basics, Linux basics, Windows memory forensics, uh, network analysis, log analysis. <clears throat> then we basically transition into my intro to security class modules. And that's where we get into what are the CIS controls? How does it apply to this class? Um, application allow listing, password controls, multi-factor authentication, more network log analysis, endpoint protection, firewall segmentation. If you select any of these different areas, it's going to take you right into that section and you can select any one of these sections. That's what I mean for reference purposes. After you go through the class, this is laid out really easy. It makes it simple for you to jump into these sections and say, oh, you know, how does an attacker use LOL bins or what are those? And you can select that and it'll open up the video and then you get to hear me talk down here again in the basement. So I'm gonna back that up for just a second. Um, so yeah, that makes it super easy to access the content um, that you have for you and your students at your MSP. But generally, I want you to kind of take it linearly or have your people follow, follow through linearly. And then once again, you can come back. And of course, there's nothing against you just jumping in and saying, oh my, we've got a problem. We need to do memory analysis. Let's jump right in and let's learn about volatility. Um, you can also go through and search topics like you can do MSP. I have very specific sections dedicated to MSPs and the uh, critical controls implementation groups. So there's implementation groups like MSP incident management, critical controls, multi-factor authentication, dedicated systems administration, secure account management, network access control, network by DES. A lot of this matches up pretty close to what you would see in the implementation groups. Um, there is gonna be an entire section called implementation groups where I just focus on each one of the implementation groups. But right now we have it peppered through. So it's going to be both. You're gonna to go to the specific section on endpoint and get a quick video on endpoint, followed by a full selection or full selection of videos on how to handle the um, endpoint. That would be like, how do you assess your EDR solution? How do you make sure it's integrating and working properly with your SIM and the logs are working properly? What are some of the problem sets associated with doing proper endpoint protection and things of that nature? So that is the overview of how your class is laid out, it has a really nice search feature. You can put in your search topics and go right to them. Now, many of you are purchasing the Meta CTF add-on, um, where we have this little capture the flag environment that we have set up in conjunction and partnership with Roman and his team at MetaCTF. You will get links and authentication for that. If you do not, once again, 
A lot of times that ends up going to spam. Or sometimes what we see is people have already paid for Meta CTF or they've gone through a CTF. Just contact technical support and Megan and her team will take this up, take this, take care of this. They're just going to take care of the problem. Once again, if you run into any issues, just don't sit and wait. Call us, let us know. We have customer support people ready to help you out and make sure that your team is working properly with the training. Now, whenever you get access to the anti-siphon cyber range, you have a whole bunch of different problems, a lot, like I think there's well over 200 different problems in here. And this is really meant to make your team stretch, right? These aren't labs. These aren't like step-by-step -step labs. We do have labs over here. So if you go into networking basics, if you drop down to the bottom, you have a lab for TCP dump, you have a lab for Wireshark. Those are step-by-step, -step, okay? These are challenges. It's not step-by-step -step walkthroughs. It's really designed to kind of make your team think through research and dig. And it's just for those of you that are getting access to this, it's a chance for you to strut your stuff. Um, it's a chance for you to take what you've learned and apply it and really extend it in ways that you didn't, um, you didn't think were possible. So please take advantage of that for you and your team members and everybody that's working through it. The final thing is um, in this particular section where it says resources start here, this video is gonna show up here in about 10 minutes in this area, you're gonna see it start here video. But we also have lab download and instructions for the VM. Now, at this point, the class has a virtual machine that is dedicated to all the labs in this particular class and the other classes as well. So you have that lab environment. It is set up and ready to go. You have this, this website that gives you the instructions on how to get VMware. Trial licenses are just fine. And that download the virtual machine and extract it. And whenever you have it downloaded and extracted, it looks like this whenever you get in. That's one of my labs for the cyber deception class, which is built in. I'm not, you're going to be able to access any and all of my labs. Whenever you log in to the virtual machine, there's going to be a labs icon. Double click that and it's going to open up your labs. Now, as of the pressing of this video, right now, everything is in intro to SOC and intro to security. We're just finished up, well, we're finishing up today, the cyber deception module that is going to get loaded into this class as well. We're going to keep adding modules to this class. That is the goal of it as a subscription model for all of you to constantly get new information, new videos, new instructions, new labs, and then also access to an Ask Me Anything uh, cyber range. Really, honestly, it's the best deal. Uh, for computer security training. Uh, so go ahead and go jump into the labs and start with intro to SOC, start with Linux command line. And then we have step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. And every single one of the, um, every single one of the, uh, uh, every single one of the, um, the labs, we also have step-by-step -step videos. So if I go to Linux basics, you have the labs VMs built in, right? You have it built into the, the VM on the labs icon, but you also have a full step-by-step -step walkthrough of what that lab entails as well. So you'll have a video with me kind of walking you through step-by-step -step how it all works, um, what, what the goals and objectives of the lab are. We have Zoom apparently that works out really well. So that is all set up super easy step-by-step. -step. So once again, you get access to a cyber range, you get access to a full lab environment, you get access to the slides, you get access to the videos. Oh, by the way, the other thing is that uh, we also have a mobile app. So the name of that app is Pulse. You can go into your, uh, your app store or Google Play store and you can do a search for D2L and download the Pulse app. Once you get into the Pulse app, you then set up Anti-Siphon as the company and then log in with your credentials and it'll take you right to your class. So for mine, I have a bunch of classes that are here and I can select uh, MSPs, has all of the sections there. And then you can select any one of those sections and you can jump straight in to the video of that section. Um, just super easy peasy to work with. And you can basically take me in your pocket. Okay, that sounds weird. I get that. It's probably a bit strange. Um, once again, we're not real big in the corporate thing here, I suppose. So that is, um, that is really what we have going on here. And I just really want to just, well, number one, thank you. Um, thank you all for coming into, coming into this and, uh, 
you know, giving us a chance to basically provide really affordable training for you and your team. And also, you know what, we want to make it better. If you have something you would like me to talk about, just shoot an email to support and say, I would really like a section on how to properly grill a steak, you know, and I'll, I'll do a section on that. Maybe not that, but try to keep it topical. But this is all something that's living, breathing, it's growing. And uh, we got a good base and a good foundation. And I personally want to make it as like great for you as you possibly can. I want it to be the best money you've ever spent on training. And as part of that, we need feedback. We need feedback from you. We need feedback from your team. So please do me a favor and and contact us and let us know what it is that we can do better, what we can add to make this experience even better for you and your team. Thank you so much. Once again, my name is John Strand, and I hope you enjoy Security for MSPs.